As a musician, I have come to value the crescendo. The crescendo is a gradual increase in the loudness of a musical piece. We can hear the effect of the crescendo hap uh, happening in real life with small breakthroughs uh, turning bigger with big success stories like the architect Zaha Hadid and how she created astonishing buildings and skyscrapers and even the founders of Uber, uh, Travis, uh, Garrett Camp and Travis Kalanick and how they created a solution to a problem they faced. In the past years, we have been witnessing breakthroughs th through the spectrum of technology, transportation, artificial intelligence, uh, robotics, the Internet of Things, and last but not least, construction. But what do you think led to their bigger breakthroughs? Smaller breakthroughs, of course. A small breakthrough is a step you take to reach a larger breakthrough. It is simply the formula of genius, coming up with a necessity or identifying an industrial void, angel investors and venture capitalists putting up the money, and voila, here comes the, uh, the next big thing. But do you think it's as simple as that? Throughout mankind, there were many breakthroughs that changed people's lives. Most of those breakthroughs started out as small ideas, and these inventions have become part of our lives. The people behind, the people behind those uh, uh, creations have become innovative leaders and market changers. These breakthroughs have created a huge effect in today's world, and how these little ideas have created a disruption within their specific industries. But how did they start out? With small breakthroughs, by creating a concept and working step by step to make it grow. I have always wanted to create an impact in the world. I have gotten my inspiration from Zaha Hadid and the founders of Uber. I have learned two valuable lessons. Hard work pays off and never underestimate the powers of small ideas. My dream is to become an architect. And Zaha Hadid is the architect that inspired me the most. Her buildings were not the only thing that inspired me, but the hard work behind achieving what she earned. Zaha Hadid went through many obstacles. And her first small breakthrough was uh, opening uh, by establishing her firm, uh, Zaha Hadid Architects. And 10 years later, Zaha Hadid got her first breakthrough after, uh, after, a, uh, a, after 10 years of sleepless nights and not getting any projects, she got her first project, which was the creation of the Vitra Fire Station. After that, Zaha Hadid became a well-known architect and built amazing buildings and is the first woman and Muslim to win the Pritzker uh, Prize and earn the Royal Institute of British Architects Sterling Prize. With Zaha Hadid's small step in opening up her architectural firm, uh, she opened the door of many possibilities and opportunities. The lesson learned here is hard work pays off. Have you ever thought of a company becoming the world's largest taxi company without owning any taxi? In a winter night in Paris, Travis Kalanick and Garrett Camp were attending a technology conference. Travis uh, and uh, Garrett couldn't find a cab that night. And while searching, they briefly talked about an idea which started with, what if you could request a ride from your phone? They briefly talked about an idea which started, uh, they, after a while, Garrett Camp got the domain Uber uh, ubercab.com, and this is how Uber was created. Ubercab quickly became popular because it was really easy to access. And in 2011, Uber became the world's most valued startup valued at $51 billion. That cold night where Travis Kalanick and Garrett Camp couldn't uh, find a cab, their idea created the disruption to the, to the taxi industry without owning any taxi. There, uh, and the lesson learned here is never underestimate the powers of small ideas. I recently put out a project called Envirothon. Envirothon is an initiative that creates many events uh, to, he to help raise awareness about the environment. It was a year ago today that I thought about this idea. And a couple of days ago, there, uh, my first event happened. It was a beach cleanup. After thinking about the idea a year ago, uh, I got the domain envirothon.com and presented it to some of my teachers, and they loved the idea. I then wrote what I wanted to achieve from this, from this and, I, and so far I have achieved leadership, time management, organization, and following what I feel passionate about. Hard work pays off and never underestimate the power of small ideas. We can see the effect of the crescendo happen in real life, with smaller sounds gradually becoming louder. With the ideas we have, we can create a sound louder than ever. Thank you.